The year is 2000. The beginning of a new decade and the rise of the potential end of known history. Three men await the prophesied man who would be responsible for this time's reckoning. The small group waits inside of an old prison in Wales, abandoned in the 1950s. Since then, nature has taken over and vines climb all over the cracked and broken structure. A once proud eagle emblem on the wall is now mostly mossed over. Two of the three are simple soldiers, prepared if this bringer of doom won't be so friendly. The other man wears a leather trench coat and paces around an old cell, adjusting his monocle before pulling out his pocket watch for the fourth time. He tries to keep his patience, but is finding it harder as time ticks on. This is a moment his organization has been waiting for a long time. What if his machine didn't work, sir? This speaking about a machine created by the two most intelligent members of a great organization. There's no doubt whatsoever it will work. Keep your disrespectful thoughts to yourself, soldier. Apologies, sir. The leaning man, though remaining confident on the outside, couldn't help but think the same question himself. What if this so-called time machine failed? All of Hydra's plans set in place banked on their past leader making his glorious return. This thought grew in him as he couldn't help but feel more worried. He looked down again on his watch. He'd wait here all day for this man, knowing that if he didn't arrive, he would face serious consequences. The trench-coated leader is about to go get some fresh air when a brilliantly bright light blazes in the cell. The men stumble back, quickly shading their eyes with their hands. The light starts to dim and now a new figure can be seen with the waiting party in the cell. When the light completely extinguishes, it's clear who this new figure is. Baron Zemo, sir. I am Wolfgang von Stracker, current head of Hydra. It is my honor to welcome you to the year 2000. Zemo, still in his prison outfit from the 50s, smiles at von Strucker with a large, evil grin. So, my machine did indeed work. Wunderbar. I am pleased to see that our organization has lasted so long, if this is indeed the future, and not some cruel trick. It is for now, sir, but it will not be once you're done with it. How right you are, my new friend. Which leads me to my next question. Have you found the Tesseract? Its whereabouts are still unknown. But with you on our side, I am certain we will locate it. Very well, let's not waste any more time here then. Take me back to your headquarters. We have work to do. Of course, sir. Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra.